Today on Chris Does What, we're going to take a look at the settings on this cam park. So stay tuned. Now let's take a look at the cam park. Starting off with your SD card. This is a class 10 SD card, so I can get the 4K resolution. USB cable plug in, your HDMI um, output. This is um, how you select through your menus and also take pictures and start videos. This is your menu up and down selection, your power and your mode button. So as you go through your different modes, you can use your select to select modes as you go through them and turn on the power. And then your battery out, your battery input. This is where you, uh, of course, put your battery in. It's just a flexible piece of plastic, so it's kind of a bear to get in and out. I don't suspect I'd be changing battery much. Now let's take a look at the different menu selections as soon as the screen. Okay, I hope that someday this would come into focus. Well, this is a 40K, 30 frame, frames per second. It will show your, your state of battery charge. This actually shows your card you have in it and your Wi-Fi. This shows us our mic is on. So this is my preset for 4K 30 frames per second for video record. <coughs> my pictures are preset at 16 meg and um, also shows my memory card, <coughs> wireless, and your state of battery charge. Here is slow mo mode. When um, I have a video linked above, and also for the 1080p, but here I didn't have a sound in the video. I don't know if that's how it records or not, but to my knowledge, there is no sound in slow mode. Of course, the standard rest of the menu, and this is where you can play back different videos you've recorded on your uh, cam, cam park 4K. <clears throat> now let's go through our menu options. Uh, going Flipping, I'm actually using this mode. And then to select, I use the OK at the top. Here is our video resolution selections. I use OK again to select the different menus. There's 4K. There's 27K, that's probably 2.7K, and then uh, 180p, 60 frames per second, 180p, 30 frames per second, 720, 120 frames per second, 720, 60 frames per second, 720, 30, and that's it. So this camera only records in HD, 720 being the lowest format. Okay. Recording sound, time lapse, recording loop, your slow mo settings, which is only uh, going to allow you to record with two settings. It's 1080, 60 frames, or 720, 20, 120 frames. Now we go to our next menu. Photo resolution. Your photo resolutions are, can I get back there? 16, 12, 8, 5, and 3. Or 2, I'm sorry. So I'm going to keep a max resolution, of course. You have timed, auto, and drama shot. I don't know what the heck drama shot is. Okay, you can set your exposure 
Right now it's at zero. Your white balance, I have it set to auto. Wi-Fi, I don't need. Image rotation, I don't care. Driving mode, this will work as a uh, camera for your car. So some kind of driving feature. I will do a later video on that to see how that works. Light source frequency, um, 60 or 50 hertz. LED indicator, turned it off. Your white LED, this is quite annoying, but let me show what it looks. It also has strobe. I don't know why you would need a strobe, but there's the LED. But it does not turn off and on when recording, it's just always on. So I guess it'd be a great flashlight. Your screensaver I have off, close means off, auto shut off is, and I hit the wrong button again. So the menu is, so auto shut off I had closed. I want closed, so I don't want it to turn off. Timer wire marks I have turned off. And let's go to our next menu, which is our settings. Language English, date and time, pain in the butt to set. But I set it. So there's your, you have to go through every one of them. And format your memory card, reset to factory, and your firmware versions. And then you go back to your menu. That is all the menu settings and all the button pushes on this Cam Park Extreme 1 4K. So if you like this channel, subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button.